name is Erica, and welcome back to my channel, hopefully. Yeah? Uh-huh. Okay. So, <laughs> so this is my wrap-up for the Hooked on Books readathon and the hashtag yearathon uh, fantasy sci-fi themed readathon uh, for this month. I, the reason I'm doing both at the same time is because they're actually running the same time. The Hooked on Books uh, readathon started on April 5th and runs through the 12th, and the Hashtag Yearathon for April starts on the 6th and runs through the 12th. Um, the, as I said already, the Hashtag Yearathon, the theme is fantasy sci-fi, so for the first day of Hooked on Books um, Readathon, I was actually, I actually ended up finishing a fantasy book because it's a vampire novel, um, but I also intended to read uh, some other ones that weren't fantasy related and then move into like super fantasy time and sci-fi related stuff for the readathon. So yeah, let's get to the first book that I finished um, for the readathons. Um, I finished on the first day. I actually read almost entirely on the first day of the readathon. Uh, so I, I think I read probably the first 20 pages um, <laughs> or so, maybe, maybe more like 40 pages on um, on the, the Saturday before. And on Sunday I uh, busted out the rest of it because it's so good. But it is, let's see if I can, oh, you can't see it, okay, so Rise of the Night by Colleen Gleason. This is the second book in the Gardella Vampire Hunters series for the character Victoria, because there's currently five books in the um, Victoria part of the Gardella Vampire Hunters, and there's two books in the Mercy one, I believe, is the other character's name. Um, I'm not really sure, because I'm not there yet, I'm only on the second book. But. So I finished that one. Um, I, it's awesome. Uh, if you've watched my wrap-ups before, you may know that I like to film right after I finish the book, so super excited. Um, I actually just ordered the next three books on Amazon uh, because it saves me like five bucks from getting them on the Kindle app instead. So you know, that's kind of that's kind of that's how I shop my books. I like to you know bargain shop and um, see which ones I can get for what, unless I'm like really. I mean, like, this one, the second book, I finished the first book, and within 20 seconds had purchased the second one. I was like, hmm, I'm buying it. I don't care how much it costs. And it was like $3.99, so it worked. So I could start reading it, because really, they are addicting. They are fun. They are just really, if you like vampire novels, it's a really cool, different take on it. But at the same time, like, everything you've ever heard. So <laughs> let me explain. It takes like your your standard thing, those things that like you've heard of before, like holy water and uh, crosses and wooden stakes and stuff like that, being like the way to fight a vampire as a thing. Oh, in daylight, like they they can't be out in the sun; they burn. It burns. Um, <laughs> so those kind of things. Like it takes all of that stuff in the series, and those are your basic like ways to get rid of your vampire. On the other side of it, it's also set in 19th century. Um, it's also set and revolving around a woman who is debutante in the first book. Um, by the second book, she's, I mean, like either way, she's a woman who tries to follow the etiquettes and things for somebody who's a debutante, who has come up in society, who's a society woman. Um, she's not poor, she's not thing, she's been married. I mean, like, it's really, it's a really interesting read. Um, in the second book, she's all of, I think, 21. I, like, it's just... It's fun and it's fascinating, and I think the reading, the writing style is really cool. Um, I like the fact that it's a vampire novel, so it feels almost like more gothic literature. Um, with the society part of like, I keep saying it's like a vampire soap opera, like when I'm reading it, even more so than like a Twilight is. You know how like Twilight feels kind of soap opera ish because it's so teen related? I feel like this one. Is more like the adult version, um, but it's bumped up, and the writing is really quality, and I really like it. Um, like I said, I just bought the next three so I can read those, so yeah. <laughs> so that's the first one I finished for this readathon, um, for the readathon, excuse me, please, uh, I should say. <laughs> but yeah, really awesome book if you are if you've not read them yet. The first one, which is called um, The Rest Falls Away, uh, and again, it's by Colleen Gleason. You can get for free on the Kindle app right now. Uh, you can actually get it free on the Kindle app, on the Nook app, and on uh, Google Play. So all three of those are available to you. I mean, like, really. So you can get the ebook really easy. Um, and the next one's only like $2.99. And 
so forth. Like they, they go up in price from there. Um, but yeah, it's really awesome. It's a really good read. I would definitely suggest it if you're into any kind of like romancy vibe with a weird take on it. <laughs> Again, vampires. Romance novel meets vampire novel. Squish them together. That's what this is. It's just really good. There's a lot of action. There's a lot of crazy things that happen. Um, there's just a lot of you screaming at your book. I literally, I spe specifically at this one, if you've read this book, please comment below. Okay. No spoilers, though. Be nice, because I'm going to try not to spoil things, too. But this, I'm just going to tell you, reading this, I got, like, 80% through it, and then I started, like, what is happening? It just over and over, because it's just crazy. Like, you have to read it so you understand what I'm talking about, but there are some, like, plot twists and craziness that happen, and you're just consistently confused and not sure what happened, and uh, I don't know. Even the way it ended was just, what? So, I can't wait to read the next ones. Um, I am waiting enough to order them for Amazon as and ship, just because it's more cost effective than um, purchasing them on my Kindle app. But yeah. Do it up. And I'm actually really proud of myself for reading some stuff on my uh, my tablet here. I um, I neglect my tablet a lot. Uh, <laughs> I think I've read probably like four or five books on it since I got it. Um, but it's because I have so many physical books. So, yeah, but I do, I, don't, I could totally do a video about it in depth, but I actually, I don't mind reading them on the e-reader, on an e-reader, e-reading app on my tablet. Um, I feel like I actually read a lot faster on that, but I do like the fact that reading a book doesn't hurt my eyes as much, because if you can't tell the glasses and stuff, and just in general, um, having to sit like in front of a computer or like have a thing, but at least there's like a dimness and stuff. As long as you're dimming, it's a little better. But yeah, tangent. I don't know. I probably talked a lot. Uh, there, I'm mumbling now. There's one book down. One book down as far as the readathon. So we are almost at the end of this readathon, and I'm feeling like a slagger. Um, <laughs> just so I read that one book. I finished one book during the readathon. Um, yep. <laughs> That's it. I finished one book so far. Um, I've read some of two other books, and being, again, that we're almost, I think, tomorrow, if I remember it. Uh, yeah, because tomorrow would be the vlog recording, or Sunday. Jeez, I, I'm, I'm coming up on, so today is the 10th. Um, I've got two more days left for this readathon, readathons, um, the two that I'm, I'm participating in, and then we're done. Um, and I, I'm just not... Like I'm looking at the books I'm reading. I I finished one book, which is the second in the Gardella Vampire series, uh, Vampire Hunter, Gardella Vampire Hunter series of Victoria ones, um, which was awesome. And then I read like 30 pages in the third book because Amazon gives you those little like you know snippets. And then I ordered the next three books so I can read them. Um, and then I started this one, Russell Brand, the Bookie Book, a memoir of sex, drugs, and stand up because I love Russell Brand. I really do. Um, it's totally my current. My current fantasy boyfriend, um, seriously, like, I just, I, I find him so attractive and lovely, um, and just in general, like, he's so, he's just one of those people, he's, like, on the list of people that I find really positive, um, and awesome, like, he just, I don't know, he just seems that way, he seems very grounded and lovely, so reading more about his life is fun, but, so, I've read 58 pages of this, I think there's some three or four hundred in here, no, three hundred and something, yeah, there's 350. There's 350. I have 300 more pages in this one to read. Um, and I switched because I was reading it, and though I find it really interesting, and it's really seriously, if you like Russell Brand, and you watch his stand-up, and you ever listen to him in an interview, like, reading this book is literally like that. Like, he doesn't write any differently than he speaks. So I thought that was pretty cool that, like, you're reading it, and it feels like it's very authentic to being Russell Brand. Like, you know he wrote this book. It's not ghostwriting it. It's not a ghostwritten one. It's not somebody else did it for him. This is Russell Brand. Um, and seriously, this cover keeps killing me, because it's like, I follow you, ready? Just look. And then, try to move away, tell me they don't follow you, it's very Mona Lisa. It's very weird. Um, so he just keeps staring at me, telling me to read him, I swear. But I swapped from that, because I was reading it, and though I was getting through it, I felt like I just really wanted to get into, because I love memoirs, but it's a very different thing reading a memoir to reading, like, a fiction novel, obviously. And when you're reading a fiction novel, you get kind of thrown into a world. And I was really, I mean, like, the readathon that I'm in is uh, the theme for your on the year of fantasy. So I really wanted to get into a fantasy book. So I picked up Cinder um, the other day, and I started Cinder. 
Um, Cinder is the first book in the Moon Chronicles by Marissa Lyon. Um, I kind of guess you've probably heard about it, but in case you have not, um, it's actually, uh, there, there are four books in the series and then a novella. So it's Cinder, uh, Cinder, Scarlet, Cress, and Winter. Winter's not out yet. And then, uh, Ferris is in between there as a novella, um, that goes in the series. And it's basically retellings of your princesses. So this one, Cinder, can you guess? Okay, no. Um, but it takes place in like a world where there are cyborgs and there are little androids and there's a plague happening and it's very sci-fi fantasy kind of feel to it and but it has a little romance thing going in there and family and friends and it's just um it's really cool so far, but again, I'm failing at readathoning. Uh, I'm on page seventy. Although this is going really fast and I'm definitely like I'm pretty determined to sit down and read my little booty off on that today, because I'm, I'm liking it. And I have Scarlet, too, so I can read two of them at least. Um, but yeah, the book's really cool so far. I really like it, but I'm just, I mean, like, I got two days left on my readathon here, and I'm not sure where I'm going to be at, but I will check in with you at the end to let you know uh, how many books are finished, or what I'm on, and yeah, so, wow. Hi! So... Just as a final wrap up here, uh, I didn't have a chance to film this before I went on my vacation, so I'm doing it actually uh, a little later than I intended uh, as far as like finishing out my wrap up for the readathons that I did. So I participated in Hooked on Books and um, the a Yearathon, a hashtag Yearathon, April readathons. Uh, at the end of it, I completed one book, just one. Um, Rises the Night, uh, by Colleen Gleason, which is the second book in the Vampire, uh, the, oh my god, Gardella Vampire Hunters, Gardella Vampire Hunter Chronicles, is that what it is? It's a long title, it's, yes, so it's that series, um, and I did read about 30 pages in the third book, which is, which is, Jesus, what is it called? Uh, I think it's supposed to be. The Bleeding Dusk, that's what it's called. Sorry, it's literally sitting right over there in my giant, and I do mean giant, TBR pile. It went from what I already had, which if you've watched the TBR for April, you know I have a very hefty TBR this month. It went from that to add another, like, eight books because I ended up buying, I got the last one I needed in the Inheritance Cycle, I got the next three in the Gardella Vampire Chronicles and Victoria's Stories to read those, and then I also got the what I what I needed for the Lunar Chronicles, um, the next two books in that because yeah so <laughs> so anyway because I started to read Cinder and I really was enjoying it so I basically during the uh, readathon I finished that one book which was fantastic and I love it thirty pages in the book after it um, and then I had to wait for it to actually come to me and then I started to read my bookie book by Russell Brand which is his first memoir, he has just two of them, and um, I read that, I read about, I think total like 65 pages of that, um, and then I swapped to read Cinder, because I just really felt like getting into a fantasy read, because this month's theme for a year -thon was fantasy sci-fi, so I really wanted to get into something, and I feel like Cinder kind of hits fantasy sci-fi kind of perfect, because um, of the Lunar Chronicles and what it's about, and uh, yeah, so I started to read Cinder, before I went on vacation, which my vacation actually started the day after the readathon ended, so by the end of the readathon, I had read about 80 pages of Cinder, and that's it. So, yeah, so I did make a little dent in my TBR, but not a lot, very much, and, uh, yeah, um, not very much I read in this readathon, but, uh, I feel like, I mean, I read, I read a bunch, but I also was extremely busy, good busy, like, I'm, Sometimes when people say busy, it, it seems like a negative thing. Uh, not for me, I really, like, I had a ton of adventures and a lot of fun stuff. And then I was preparing for a vacation, and then I went on vacation. So, <laughs> so, uh, so yeah. So, that's what I got done in those two. Uh, you know, like this if you like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, if you participated in a year -thon, uh, hashtag a year -thon with a hooked on books, um, read on speed, let me know, like, how you guys did. Did you guys, did you guys get more than one book completed? Did you get a bunch of books completed? Did you read a lot? Uh, did you read nothing? Did you totally forget there was a, a readathon you signed up for? <laughs> I don't know. Alright, I will see you in the next one. Bye.